Welcome back folks. So today I'm playing Mythbuster. Ah, Myth, 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 Mythbuster. Alright, so what I'm going to try and do today is that um, I was in a very unfortunate position to get a couple of tins of pallets. Now that's not the unfortunate position. The unfortunate position is, is that these guys are so bloody well bent skirts in the back that you can't or can you shoot them. So that is the myth I'm going to try and look at today. Does the bent skirt change your point of impact there and if any by how much so I'm going to do this scenario in two sections first and foremost I'm going to test them on the 30 meter range and then if I can't see a huge difference there I'm going to roll it out to the 60 meter so stay with me I'm going to do the 30 meter test first but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, three sections of this in other words I'm going to shoot three different speeds with my trusty old bronzy over here. I'm going to shoot them at three different speeds. I'm going to shoot five normal skirts first and then the five bent skirts. Change the speed, do it again, change the speed, do it again and then I'm going to measure that up. So this will be a quite a quick little video on the 30 meter section and if as I said the results are poor I'll take it out to the 60 meter and see what the difference is there. Because really? Can bent skirt shoot as accurate as normal skirts. So there's one myth out there that says that the air pressure in the gun actually will flare open up the skirt in the back so there should be no point of impact shift. We're gonna test that one today. Hold on to your hat, here it comes. Time to throw some lead. First up I'm gonna shoot the selected pellets. In other words these aren't weighed. All I did is I looked for pellets that had a roundish skirt. Because the tin I found was so badly bent, half of the pellets I need to either throw away or see what my results does today. So, let's go for it. If I look at those groupings, there might have been one or two bent skirts in there. But, alright. Time to load the actual bend skirts, go through all three power settings and see what the results are. Ooh, alright, totally inconclusive. But let me show you the measurements and then we need to take them out to 60 meters. Okay, so the 5.5s with bent skirts, one hold at 30 meters. Now that is very interesting. So, short way, inconclusive. I'll give you guys a slightly better close up on this. Oh, is that good enough? As you can see, not much difference between normal skirts or bent skirts at three different speeds. Now, who would have thought that? So, at 30 meters, the myth. It's not busted, it is there. Pen skirts versus normal skirts, exactly the same. Let's take them out to 60 meters and see if they shine at the same distance. Welcome to a chilly morning in Cape Town, but what a lovely day we have here. We've got a slight breeze from left to right, about three to five kilometers per hour, nothing to sneeze about but it does make a difference at 60 meters. How much of a difference? Yay, so much. All right, so in my scope, and I'm currently on a 14 times magnification. No, I'm lying, at a 24 times magnification, I'm holding off a half a M rad at this distance. 60 meters, half a M rad, yo, that's a lot for such a very, very slight breeze. But we are onto the second part of this, and this is the myth. Bent skirts, because of the power of the gun, will actually flare up the backside of that bent skirt, smooth it out, and there should not be any difference between a bent skirt versus a normal pallet. Well, we're here to test that myth today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my gun on power setting 4, then 5, then max, shoot 5 normal pallets at all 3 of those different speeds to see what the normal, normal should look like at 60 meters with a slight wind. And then, lo and behold, I took out 15 bent skirts out of my tin. I'm not going to mention the, the name of that tin at this stage, it's irrelevant. All I'm saying is these guys are properly bent. And they came out of the tin like that. So it's quite shocking that you can get a bad tin like that. I think I did mention it was in the 30 meters. I have to go back. 
but in any case 15 shots with very bent skirts at 60 meters same conditions let's see how it goes normal skirts power setting four No wind. Hmm. That's not bad. One or two, which maybe the nut behind the gun. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Bent skirts. Uh, let's go for this. All right, guys, will I shoot with bent skirts? Hell no. What is the myth correct? About 85% to 90% correct, I would say. Time to go and measure up. I think you'll find the results just as surprising as I did. Okay, let's go measure up. The more I shoot, the more I learn. It's as simple as that. The one thing that is quite noticeable is that there's very little speed difference between the bent skirts versus the normal skirts. Also, both of them grouped exceptionally well, except for the bent skirts that every single time had a flyer somewhere along the line. So the question remains, can I shoot with the bent skirts? Yes, on 30 meters there was almost no difference between the bent skirts and the normal skirts. On 60 meters, however, you see these small anomalies popping out. Four brilliant shots there at 905 feet per second, one flyer. Again, at 915 feet per second, four Koei K shots, but one, oh my greatness, where's number five? Gone, not even on the paper. And that's the unfortunate challenge with Ben skirts. You don't know which one of them will be the ugly flyer. So, from my side, will I shoot with Ben skirts? Plinking, hell yes. Going pace control, hell no, because you don't know which one will be the flyer or where it's going to hit. So, from my side, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. I'll see you guys in the next one. That's all, folks.